Hi there. This is a podcast from the Stonefire community, and this is Peter Guest speaking. Uh, I'm one of the members of the community. Today is the 31st of December 2021. I'm uh, recording this from Cape Town, and this this podcast is part of a series of blog posts on the website, and we've, we've called it Soul Nuggets. The title is, I shall not want, when I taste your goodness. I want to start off by actually looking at Psalm 23, the first verses, which says the following, God, my shepherd, I don't need a thing. You have, bed, you have bedded me down. You have bedded me down in lush meadows. You find me quiet pools to drink from. True to your word, you let me catch my breath and send me in the right direction. This is from Psalm 23, verse 1 to verse 3, and it's the message version of the Bible. I was wondering as I read through this during my meditation and prayer time, why do we, and I'm going to start off with why do I, how is it that I wander away so subtly from the path that Jesus has offered me? And I wander away to other things that seem to be far more important. Then my needs shift and my wants shift. And soon I want other people, other places, and other things that are nowhere near the importance and the beauty and significance of God's kingdom and a life with Christ. So, can we try to remember that with the Lord as my shepherd, with the Lord as your shepherd, you have everything to say it again. When the Lord is my shepherd, I have everything I need. Everything I need. And as Jesus promised time and time again in the New Testament, when we put the kingdom of God first, he will supply all our needs. He won't always give us what we want, but he's going to supply all our needs. And he specified clothing, food, and drink, the basic essentials for people to survive. In conclusion, I want to restate the title which combines the first two verses. Verse 1 combines with verse 6 in my favorite line in the song, I shall not want when I taste your goodness. The song is by Audrey Hassad. Another version of verse 3 states, He gives me new strength in my life. And that's the easy version, 2018. If you find you have little time for reading the word and speaking to Jesus, then you have drifted far away already. He is the real thing. He will satisfy your every need. And thus, you will have everything you need. Yes, everything. Because you will find in life the right perspective and find the way to balance your life with a sense of peace rather than to be overdriven. Or, as some people just say, driven. Driven is often the, the word given for people that are overdriven and be performance orientated and as they call it in psychology the A type. This is what Jesus called us to with what I call the great invitation. Jesus said the following in Matthew eleven, twenty eight to thirty. If you read the whole passage, I'm just going to look at the very first part of it. Come to me all who work so hard and are heavily burdened, and I will give you rest. In the rest of the in the balance of the, the, the verses there, Jesus explains, one thing he doesn't explain is or say, he's not going to take our burdens away. But what he's going to do is he's going to show us how to be part of his yoke, or to, to use his yoke. In other words, the yoke that cattle have when they are doing a job of work in the fields, plowing, plowing the fields. And Jesus invites us to take on that yoke. And Jesus also says, he says, my burdens are light. So he gives us the burden of bearing the yoke. And he gives us the burdens, I believe, of carrying the cross you must bear in life. Whatever that cross is for you, uh, whatever that cross is for you, I need to bear, I need to carry it. God isn't going to take it away. There's some things he's going to do inside of us, but there's some things he's not going to do. There's some things we are going to be carrying with us through life for whatever reasons. Sometimes sometimes we don't know. Sometimes God will reveal it in our passage in life. And some, as I've said, will come to will come to a point where there's healing, 
is forgiveness, is freedom. But there are some things that you will carry uh, with, with for life. So the invitation here is to get back to God urgently to restore your life and your sanity. Thank you very much for, for, for listening. I just want to end off with the, the website address so that you can use it to go and have a look at other blogs. We've covered more than 100 uh, blogs already on the website. It's www.stonefirecommunity.com stonefirecommunity.com Thank you again for listening and uh, it would be great to see you on the website. Please do get in touch with us if you need any help.